Okay, so we're going to make the batter for the crepe Suzette, which is basically a nice light batter, so you get a nice light pancake. So first of all, you need to add two eggs into the bowl, break the yolks, just beat them up a little bit. To that, we're going to add a tablespoon of caster sugar. Just beat that together. You want to beat it for a minute or so until it starts to go a little bit paler and a bit fluffier. And the fluffier it gets, it's going to make your batter a lot lighter. So when the batter hits the pan, it spreads out a little bit more evenly and you get a thinner crepe. That's about there now. So it's nice and foamy, a lot paler in colour. To that we're going to add 110 grams of strong white flour. It's got half a teaspoon of table salt mixed into that. We're just going to gradually mix that into the egg and the sugar mixture. It's going to go like a paste then. And to that, we're going to add 200 mils of milk, very gradually. And just slowly start working that into the batter. And the reason you add it gradually is so you can whisk it all together and avoid getting any lumps in there. And then the, th the thinner the batter gets, you can gradually start to add a little bit more milk each time. So it should take about four stages to add the milk to the batter. And that's it. Once all the milk's in, that's the crepe batter done. So you've got a nice light batter and you're looking for a consistency of pouring cream. So now we've got the crepe batter finalised, uh, I'm going to go on to show you how to make the crepes themselves. So we add a couple of knobs of butter to a sort of a medium hot pan. Just let them melt down. Get a nice even coating across the pan. Get the butter nice and foaming. Just raise the heat ever so slightly. Once the butter's melted, add a ladle full of the crepe batter to the pan. And just tilt the pan ever so slightly just to evenly distribute the batter. You know, roughly give it about 45 seconds each side. And using a palette knife, you just check the underside just to make sure it's colouring up nicely, which it is. So a few more seconds just to firm up. And you go for your first flip. And then same amount of time on this side, just so we get a nice colour again. The trick is just keep it moving so you get an even coloration across the crepe. And then one more flip, just to be sure. And that's ready to come off now. Keep the pan on a medium heat. Now we add the sauce mixture to the pan. And again, the pan stays nice and hot. Conducts the heat really well, so it instantly starts to reduce. And thicken up, and just add another butter to that. And then just keep the pan moving, just so the butter emulsifies with the sauce, so it doesn't separate. So essentially what you're doing here is you're evaporating the liquids, which the flavour's reducing down with the sugar, and that's going to leave you with the syrup to pour over the crepe. You see the bubbles in the syrup will get smaller, there'll be more of them. That's ready to pour over to the crepe now. So that's your nice thick orange sauce over. So now we're going to flambe the oranges just to go on top of the sauce. So again, just making sure your pan's nice and hot. Cheers. Just add a few fresh orange segments to the pan. Let them caramelise slightly. And once they're caramelised, we add the cointreau and flambe the oranges. So over in a matter of seconds, turn off the heat. 
And then we'll just garnish the crepe with the oranges. Bit of the caramel. And there it is done, crepe Suzette.